So today we finna be talking about 10 players who purchased some of the weirdest things. Let's start off with number 10 and that is Marquise Daniels buying a chain. Now some people may be saying buying jewelry is nothing new to anybody that's rich, especially NBA players because you know they come from a lifestyle where jewelry is a necessity damn near. But Marquise Daniels, his situation was completely different. Keep in mind this is a bench player, a role player who wasn't even drafted so the certainty of getting the next job was never truly there so when he went out and bought a 14 karat gold necklace that was a diamond replica of his head yeah that definitely showed why his priorities were just really not into basketball and they were into other things and hey i ain't gonna hate you spend your money how you want to spend it but when you're a role player like that i wouldn't be shocked if that contributed to some heavy bills if you know what i'm saying but regardless, it's up to him. He can live his life how he wants to live it. But moving on to number nine, we got Gilbert Arenas and his shark tank. Yes, you heard me correctly. Gilbert Arenas bought a shark tank. Keep in mind that when he was on top doing his thing with Washington and then eventually was traded to Orlando, he bought a $3.5 million mansion and then bought a shark tank in the mansion. Now some people may be saying why is the mansion not on the list but the shark tank is. Well for one, let's establish that buying a $3.5 million mansion for an NBA player, that's nothing. That's literally less than some people's rookie salary so that's not really that big of a deal. Deal. But buying a shark tank that cost him $6.5,000 a month until he decided to sell the house in 2012, yeah, that's a lot of money just so you can have a few sharks to look at. Kind of joking on that last part because we don't know what kind of sharks he had up in there. But regardless, that's a crazy amount of money to be spending just so you can look at some sharks. But moving on to number eight, we got Eddie Curry, and I kid you not, his selection is just bills. Eddie Curry has spent some of the craziest amounts of money on bills. He has to be one of the worst people on the planet of earth when it comes to managing money. The guy literally spent over $1,000 a month on cable, paid over $6,000 a month to his private chef, and $17,000 to his friends and family in recreational activities. And I'm not gonna knock him for that last part too much because we never know what his friends and family could be going through and what they needed that money for. But it's very obvious that when it came to managing money, Eddie Curry was just not an expert in any way, shape, or form. And that doesn't include the fact that he had took out a $600,000 loan in a Vegas casino at 85% interest now hell who knows maybe it's because he was playing in new york and the new york bright lights got to him and he just could not take the pressure but regardless my brother to be spending all that money on basic needs that us normal people would not even spend a fraction on that amount for those things because let's not forget we normal people we have cable too we got food too we got needs too but you don't see us spending thousands of dollars on that stuff let's just keep it a buck here eddie curry was doing shit that us normal people wouldn't even do even if we had that money but regardless it's his money like i will always say he can do what he wants to do with it but moving on to number seven we got scotty pippen's private jet Say what you want about a jet, say what you want about NBA players, you could say they don't need to be spending it on that kind of money, they got all this money, why are they spending it on things they don't need? Well guess what? When you get that money and you can afford a jet, that's when you can start talking. Because I gotta be real, if I had that kind of money, I'd wanna get a jet. And Scottie Pippen went out in style as he got a $4 million jet. And what even makes matters worse is that this guy literally had to spend an extra million dollars because the jet didn't even work. And guess what? It never worked. So he had to just throw the whole damn thing away. Imagine spending $5 million, and I understand for him that's nothing, but to us, spending $5 million just to get a plane and try to fix it and it still never leaves the ground that is a hella hella tough scene but moving on to number six we got Shaquille O'Neal with literally just Superman shit we all know Shaq is known for being called Superman and all of that but this guy has literally spent 
$40,000 just to put the logo on the grill of one of his SUVs and over $15,000 on his bed. Yes, this guy legit, I don't know if he had a deal with DC or anything like that, but he was so in love with that name of Superman that he really marketed himself and put the logo on a lot of stuff. Now we all know Shaq's priorities were not always on the game of basketball, I mean hell he's even said it himself, but damn bruh, spending that much money just so you can put a logo on a whole bunch of shit? That's crazy bro, <laughs> that is really, really crazy. But moving on to number five. We got Danny Granger, and yes, I'm not joking when I say this, he actually bought a bat cave. Now I cannot find the exact price of this, but I had to put this on the list for one, because I love Batman and I am a huge DC nerd and I would probably do the same if I had that kind of money to spend, but two, Danny Granger, let's not forget that this guy had one of the craziest fall offs in the history of sports, not just basketball, but sports. As soon as Paul George came on the scene, this guy disappeared into irrelevancy. I think he had a short stint with the Clippers and then I never heard about him again. It is so crazy how steep and how quick his drop off came and I believe he won the most improved player right before Paul George got there man it is so so strange but having a bat cave man I gotta give him a lot of love he had to get on this list not just because of the fact that he spent money on it but because of the fact that that's one of the coolest purchases I have ever ever heard of and I probably would have done something very similar now at number four I gotta go with Al Jefferson because keep in mind this guy literally spent twenty three thousand dollars on a bed I'm not joking a bed a 12 by 10 bed I understand that's a huge bed 12 by 10 feet that's 120 but let's keep it a buck here that's stupid bro <laughs> spending twenty three thousand dollars on a bed that bed is gonna have you go to sleep just like everybody else the only way i could see myself buying a bed for twenty three thousand dollars is if god himself told me hey yo buy a bed for twenty three thousand dollars and hey I ain't gonna judge the man's personal life. If God told him that, then so be it. But <laughs> I can almost guarantee you God ain't gonna tell you something like that. But regardless, like I always say, it's your money, you spend it how you see fit. But moving on to number three, we got the late great Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. Congrats to his Hall of Fame selection. But this man Kobe actually spent $21,000 on some crystal bottles. It shouldn't be that shocking and that surprising, at least when you hear the story of how he did that because there was a poker star, I don't remember his name, but he had bought I believe two bottles and then said Kobe you try to one up me on that. And we all know Kobe's a very competitive guy, so whenever somebody challenges Kobe to anything, and I mean literally anything, they could literally challenge him to a spit off, he must accept it and he outdid the guy buying 15 bottles of crystal that is crazy especially considering that crystal cost fourteen hundred dollars each kobe bryant that man is a competitive monster and i ain't even gonna hate on him because like i said if i had that kind of money to be burning like that hell who knows what i'm gonna do with it but moving on to number two we got the one and only AI when it comes to just his jewelry alone because I got to keep it a buck with you AI is not only influential in terms of his play style especially the guys like Kyrie Irving with the handle but even his tattoos who some people may be looking and saying yeah he has tattoos but it ain't that many well you never saw an MVP carry himself like that with that many tattoos and the way he dressed and hell now look at LeBron he got tats and we don't even notice you can look at the cornrows it just goes on and on and on but another thing is his jewelry AI was very known for being very flashy, not just with his game, but off the court. The man had drip, the man had style and swag, and his jewelry was just a part of it. I don't know the whole total amount of money that he spent on that, but we all know it had to be at least almost a million dollars because jewelry is not cheap. But finally, last but certainly not least, we got the Miami Heat's big three bar tab because we all know that this team when they won those back-to-back -back championships they was at the bar they was with drake i think i was the only guy that wasn't there for christ's sake and this team keep in mind they spent over two hundred thousand dollars a night a night 
and they won two championships by the way so i know they must have spent multiple nights in miami especially considering that's where their team played anyway think of all the other nights they were there even when they didn't win a championship i mean they had to be number one i mean they just had to but that concludes this video if you like it drop a like down below don't forget to wash your hands stay safe out there y'all have a great day peace